$25 million headed to St. Louis to step up development. The city won a federal Build Back Better grant to make it happen. Good evening, I'm Brent Solomon. Kelly Jackson has the night off. Those federal funds are meant to help bring more jobs and help grow the St. Louis region. Our Justina Cornell joining us in studio now. Justina, I understand this grant was pretty competitive. Yeah, Brent, so the $1 billion grant competition is meant to boost economic recovery from the pandemic, and this attracted more than 500 applicants. From there, it was narrowed down to 21 regional coalitions, so St. Louis being one of those recipients. Now, the goal is to invest this money into advanced manufacturing. In North St. Louis City, a new wave of excitement is coming through. We won a $25 million uh, grant from the United States Department of Commerce being matched with local sources, which puts us up over $40 million. At the center of this is a new anchor institution that will be called the Advanced Manufacturing Innovation Center. The center will be just east of Rankin Tech off of Finney Avenue. Soon, this property will transform into a 130,000 square foot facility. We will pioneer new techniques and workforce development. We're going to save, retain, and create thousands of new jobs. Besides the facility, some of the money will be invested into other projects too. We will have workforce training programs leveraging our community colleges throughout this bi-state metro. Such as funding St. Louis Community College's new manufacturing equipment and building up organizations. Through the grant, $1 million will go to nonprofit Rung for Women. This announcement is game changing. President Leslie Gill believes this will only strengthen their efforts. It allows us to expand our programming, especially for women of color to move them into jobs in advanced manufacturing. The amount of disinvestment that has happened in women in their careers, especially because of COVID, like this is exactly the boost that a lot of our members need. And while there's more work to be done, Gil is excited for this new center and for what's to come. To use that as a training site, to use that as an opportunity to expose more women. Now to have this innovation center literally, you know, in our backyard, is it, it allows for real-time hands-on experiences that women don't ordinarily get. Now I'm told construction and design will start in mid-2023. In the meantime, the St. Louis Development Corporation plans to have community managers go out in the area to engage with community members rather than push residents out.